about the signal. So let's discuss briefly about the signal and after that I will also discuss the different types of signal. So let's come to the definition of signal. So, so signal is considered as a physical variable that is a function of time. If we have network like this, let's say this is my network and this is the input side while this one is the their output side. So end up, uh, input signal may be described by their independent voltage source. So independent voltage source may be written like this or independent current source like I do not derive by this dash sign. An independent current source will be denoted by this symbol. So and the output at the output side I will get the voltage denoted by V naught or current from the network. So uh, mostly the signal which we treat it is either uh, deterministic deterministic signal or it can be periodic signal or a periodic signal or it can be continuous time signal or it can be discrete signal so these are the different types of signal so these are the types of signal so let's discuss one by one so the uh, let's come toward the deterministic signal so deterministic signal is such a signal that is completely completely specified as a function of time like exponential signal so this one is completely specified as a function of time or it can be sinusoidal signal or it can be a pulse of height h so I will discuss one by one these after some time so uh, mostly this signal is used in digital side so the deterministic signal can be any signal like v is equal to v t divided by uh, 2 so deterministic signal can be any signal specified by Uh, specified as a function of time so this is also as a function of time so I also bring this type of signal in deterministic type so I define first the deterministic signal and also these are the types of deterministic signal and also I will discuss the periodic signal, a periodic signal, continuous time signal, this time signal. So let's come toward the first two, let's, so first let's come toward the uh, type of deterministic signal. So we have first exponential signal. So let's come toward the exponential signal. So let's first write the general form of exponential signal. And the general form of exponential signal can be read like this vt is equal to v e to power minus a t where t is greater than or equal to 0. So I write this bit in this type like in this symbol because it changing with time. Change with change of time t and this one which is in the capital form is 
the amplitude or magnitude or magnitude and you also remember that in previous video I discussed that the magnitude or amplitude will always be positive negative amplitude or magnitude is impossible so it means that if you have amplitude or magnitude so that will always be in positive number so this E is the exponential and this A is nothing just the one by time where T, this capital T is the uh, time constant and this multi is nothing just a variable so if this t change so it means that so or you can say that if i need a voltage value at any time let's say i need a voltage value at time t is equal to 2 second so i will write it like the voltage value at 2 second will be equal to the maximum amplitude or magnitude e to the power minus a where t is 2 so i will put here 2 and if i have a time constant let's say if this is given to us that the time constant is 4 seconds so I will write it such like main of that V2 is equal to V e to the power minus 2 divided by 4 so it will be equal to V e to the power minus 1 by 2 so uh, now let's come uh, let's discuss it further this general form uh, through graph so So as the general form of Ismani phase signal is written like this. So let's say we have this is a graph. Let's say this is my T axis and this is the voltage. This this one so if i draw the graph of this equation so it will be look like this if t is greater than or equal to zero so this one here at t is equal to zero so if you put the value of t is equal to zero in this equation so you will get this maximum value of voltage. So this is the such a value where t is equal to zero. So here we get the maximum value. And let's say this is equal to one volt. So this value will be equal to one volt. Let's say I have this is the my capital T means time constant so what will be the value at one time constant this is one time constant this is another time constant so the total will be equal to 2t two, two time constant from up to this bit. So here we will get the value of 0.368 of maximum value. And here the maximum value is 1, so I will write in this way. So how I will get this value? I will get this value if I have the amplitude of maximum value is equal to 1 or a which is equal to 1 by t and here let's say t is also equal to 1 second so it will be equal to 1 so putting the value of this in this equation so you will get e to the power minus and here sorry this 
time class i is not equal to 1 because we've taken the general form so here if you see that this is my time axis and this value is the uh, one time constant so i am interested at this point that if t i can say that if t is equal to one time constant so what will be the value of voltage so as t is equal to capital t so if i put this equation in this so it will be equal to such like that t power minus 1 which is equal to 0.36 head so i read here the 0.36 head so what will happen if i have t is equal to 2 time constant so i will put in this equation so i will get t power minus 2t divided so it will be minus 2 and it will be equal to 0.1538 sorry 0.135 so it means that at this point the voltage value will be equal to 0.368 so what result we get from all this explanation so it tells us that if you have one const uh, time constant so or you can say that up to one time constant which is this point so the drop and the exponential signal will be equal to 36.8 percent of the maximum uh, voltage or you can say the amplitude and also at two time constant the drop in this region will be equal to 36.8 percent of this value because this drop will be 36.8 percent of this maximum value and this drop will be the 36.8 percent of this maximum value so here we get we have 0 0.36 so we can say that the uh, value at the value of voltage at this point will be equal to 36.8 percent of 0.368 and that will be equal to 0 uh, 135 sorry this is 135 0.135 so it comes from 0.368 into 0.368 so it will be equal to 0 0.135 so the at two time constant you have the voltage value and that will be equal to 13.5 percent of maximum value and maximum value will be this one or you can say that at two time constant the voltage value will be equal to 36.8 percent of this value of voltage at this point and that will be 0.368 volt so this is all about the exponential signal so i will summarize it this whole graph that the exponential signal is independent of the maximum voltage it just depends upon the time constant so at one time constant you have the drop of voltage which will be equal to 36.8 percent of this maximum value and at two time constant it will be equal to 13.5 percent of this maximum value so at one time constant i have the drop of 36.8 percent of this maximum value at two time constant i have the drop of up to from here up to this region i have the drop of 13.5 percent of this maximum value and or you can say that at this region or at this one time constant i have the drop of which is this one of 36.8 percent of this maximum value 
or you can say that of 36.8% of the maximum value of voltage at this point. 